I am sharing with you my winter stocked pantry for 2023 it is January when I am filming this I shared a pantry tour and a little bit of a makeover back in end of August I believe and so produce wasn't fully on the shelves yet and I just thought it'd be fun for you to see what it looks like now with some canned good up, canned goods on the shelves and what I buy store-bought and keep on hand. It is a little low. I need to make a trip to Costco for some items, but I still think it is well stocked for our family of four and I thought you would like to see what it looks like. So first off, I'm going to remind you the space in here. I can touch the wall by putting my arm out. You're pretty much on the wall right now. So it is a tight space. We had old wooden shelves in here that had termite damage, so I took those out, added these metal shelves in here end of summer. That way I can have all my canning items, my home canned goods, and feel safe about them staying on the shelf and not falling off. But this is what we have. You can see some of it behind me, but I'll walk you through what we have. And it's okay to have a stocked pantry. I think it's totally okay to be prepared to have enough food for your family for winter months. That's why I love canning. That's why I love having a full shelf in our little pantry down here in our basement. And so it doesn't have to be fancy either. It can just be this like storage area that's also our utility room and that works for us. Okay, so here it is. I'm just gonna share what's on that side. That's a lot of our Airbnb products that we supply, coffee pods, no granola bars, stuff like that. Like a few extra canning supplies over there. And like I said, it is our utility room. So there's that. But here's a quick overview of our shelves right now with what we have on here. Okay, so I'll start on the top. We have our tomatoes, some home canned. I still have some in the freezer, some store-bought like some extra sauces, salsas. I buy spicy brown mustard and stock up on that when it's on sale. Extra mayo, ketchup. I have some dry beans and some store-bought canned beans. I will keep store-bought canned beans for easy soups, um, for taking soups to people as well because store beans, when they're on sale, I will stock up at our local little grocery store and buy a few of those. And then I just have some extra larger jars in the back my instant milk, um, like a boxed milk on hand, just in case, you never know. I do have some um, other little canned milk of like condensed milk and sweetened condensed milk for making desserts or so. I always have coconut milk on hand. And then here's our extra proteins, like my jarred eggs. Now I used those uh, back in the fall, one jar, and they turned out pretty well. I didn't ever fry them, but I baked with them and scrambled them. So I have one jar still left back from June. So when you're seeing this, it's like six months old jar. Extra meats like tuna, salmon, chicken in the back. And then I always stack up at Costco. I really like these fun organic noodles. So if you can have a good noodle on hand, have a canned protein, have a pasta sauce, you've got a meal. So I have all of those there. I have like, oh, 15 bags of organic pasta. They're great <laughs> for winter meals, especially. Right, I do have some store-bought cereals. My girls really like these cocoa wheats um, and malto meal cereals. So it's kind of just something that is pretty healthy, really just wheat farina and malted barley. Like nothing too wrong with that. Extra just like little snack Cheerios for church day. Oatmeals, these are my sweetener syrups. Some raw honey we get, extra cane sugars, my Redmond sea salt. I have two of those, so I need to stock up on those a little bit. And then my pickles. So I let us eat about a jar of pickles a week. So I tried to make like 50 jars of pickles. It didn't quite pan out. So it's probably one jar every other week, but my husband loves home canned pickles. So have those there, our pickled beets, our canned carrots and some store-bought carrots, some canned green beans. I did freeze some as well and then some store-bought canned other things here some peas some corn some extra green beans too just when they're on sale sometimes it's nice to have those on hand as you can tell i'm getting my local best choice brand there all right my jams i didn't make any extra apple butter this year so just some like peach jam mulberry um what else i have 
a strawberry rhubarb. So those are what we'll have. And I can tell since they're small jam jars, they are not gonna last us till August, I'm guessing. So I will be canning much more jam this summer and late summer. Our peaches, I canned a lot more of these this year. I use um, just honey and cinnamon to can my peaches. And then just like a little apple pie mixture there. Over here is extra coffees, extra teas, extra nuts and organic crackers. What I need to stock up on is peanut butter. We go through a lot of peanut butter. And then an extra molasses and extra snack bars like RX bars, these little natural fruit barrels, fig bars. That's what my girls have sometimes when we travel. Down to the next shelf below, I have extra oils. So I do have olive oil, coconut oil, I do have canola oil on hand for boxed brownie mix for youth groups, stuff like that. Um, einkorn flour, whole wheat flour, and my organic all-purpose flour. I make sure to have plenty of those, especially since I'm a sourdough maker. All right, then truly, that's about it for the food products. All of my extra canning stuff here. We processed a deer this year, so this vacuum sealer was extremely nice to have. All my extra canning lids and rings, jars, um, so much extra canning stuff there. Little whirly pop popcorn maker and extra like table linens, stuff like that there. So that is about it. Oh, there's a few extra like straws and what else? Just a canister of lemonade, I think. So that is it for the pantry, really. We went through all our potatoes already and sweet potatoes. Um, most of my onions are done. Squashes, we do have a few squashes left just on the other side here, but they lasted about oh, four months. So pretty good, I'd say, for squashes and potatoes. I didn't plant my 40 pounds of potatoes like I did last year. So this is our shelving of our canned goods and our prepackaged goods and our stockpile of what we have for this winter. I do keep a few things upstairs as well and just an easy access cupboard too, but this is our overflow. All right, so that's it guys. All my produce, some of our non-perishables, some of our extra proteins we store, my canning supplies, you know, flowers, coffee, stuff like that is all in here, beans. And that's what it looks like, very simple, not extravagant, just a place where we can store food, come down, grab what we need, and feel good about having food in our house, and hopefully that you can too. Well, thanks for watching, and I will talk with you in the next one.